Okay, 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 okay. Thank y'all for tuning in to the Gertie Mac Show. Now, before we get started, if you don't mind, like and share this video and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop another video. Now, let's talk about Indiana Fever coach Christy Sides. Look at people. Fourth quarter disaster has jumped into the transfer portal. Let's go. Now, the Indiana Fever um, got their rematch against Phoenix Mercury. But it wasn't a rematch between Caitlin Clark and Diana Taurasi because Diana Taurasi was out. But now, Chris's size, even though they won, congrats to the Fever, they won 95 to 86. But Chris's size is still in the hot seat. It's like a hot pocket in the microwave. People are boiling hot, ready for her to still lose her job. Now, over the last couple of games, People have really been questioning Christy Sides' um, coaching decisions, how she draw plays for Caitlin Clark at the end of the game, and also this on and off starting lineup that she be changing as the wind blows. Well, because of that, someone at the game said that Christy Sides was booed during the introduction. And I was like, whoa, really? Well, I did find a video. You're going to have to listen real close to hear. But after they introduced Kaylin Clark, they introduced Chris's size, and the fans started booing. Y'all listen real close. Check this video out. From UConn, 69. Now, I don't know if y'all was able to hear that, and some of y'all probably say I was reaching, but the only thing I reach for is a bag of potato chips. But now, the reason why people are upset with Chris's size and still want her job, even though she won the game, is because they blew an outstanding 30 some point lead. To where in the fourth quarter, they let the Phoenix Mercury get all the way down within six points, risking the chance of losing this game. Now, Chris decides in the post game interview, um, you can tell that she is frustrated and she is upset. But not only that, Chris decides made it very clear that it was unacceptable for her players to let this happen. Y'all check this video out. Uh, for me right now, it's given up 36 points in 11 minutes. So that's what we've got to figure out. You know, I, don't, I haven't been here when we've been up 31 points. And when you do that, you have to figure out a way to, to hold that and just finish the game. And so that is where, as a coach, that's where I'm at. But it's incredible, you know, to have players that can put up those many points and, and be able to rebound the basketball. Um, but that, you know, that, that's where I'm at. Yo, Chloe, then we'll go in the back. Yeah, you mentioned those 36 points in the last 12 minutes. Just what can you take from that to improve for Sunday? Yeah, I mean, that's our defense. It started with us not handling their zone very well. They went zone, and we just kind of um, – we didn't take wide-open shots. We were getting wide-open shots. We weren't finishing them. And then we weren't getting back and guarding. Like, we, were, we just couldn't get matched up with who we were supposed to. And then I told them at the end of the third, like, these guys can shoot the basketball. They have the ability to put the ball in the hole. They can get a lot of points. Kalia Copper is an unbelievable player. Um, she made things happen for them. So that's just us being up 31, able to finish out a game the way we should have, and that's just what we need to, to talk about and figure out. Go on the back. Hey, Coach, this is your last home game in over a month. I know you got your two-game road trip to cap off before the break actually goes on, but what does it mean for you and for this program to have such passion rally behind this momentum that you're starting to gain? Yeah, you know, we're just constantly trying to get better. That's our goal. As a young team, 
um, in this league, the goal is just to get better and to when you you know when you do things like what we just talked about with letting them score 36 points, like we've got to figure out how to not let that happen. You, I mean, we haven't been in this position where we were up 31, but you can't let that kind of lead go. Especially, I mean, they cut it to six. I mean, that just that's just unacceptable. So we have to figure out how that happened and not let that happen again. You got damn right. You need to figure it out because you are the head coach. It don't matter how good or great. Caitlin Clark is as a player or how great she plays and get her stats. This is not, there's no I in team. Her individual stats don't mean nothing if the team is not winning. But then again, maybe I may be wrong. But your plays that you draw up and the decision that you make is going to reflect on your players. So if your players are not performing, then something got to give. Now, someone said this about Chris's side. They said, what game was she watching? Throws the players under the bus again. I saw you sit Clay Caitlin in the third quarter, put Willie in, and take the ball out of Caitlin's hands. How does she not see that? Accountability goes one way with this woman. You weren't doing what you were doing in the first three quarters. I can't believe it. You were responsible for that. You put the ball in Willa's hand and put Caitlin off ball. Unbelievable. Willa, the fans don't care for her. But now, Chris decides she didn't just stop right there. She went off again. Y'all check this video out. I think our defense in the first three quarters up until the last two minutes, I think we get, went on, they went on an 8-0 run just into third. I think our defense, um, you know, we were following the scouting report. We, we were doing the, you know, the defensive schemes that we needed to do. You know, um, you know, I hate it for BG. I hope she's okay. Um, but we did an excellent job. And then we just didn't do what we were doing for three quarters. And then, you know, Washington, we didn't do what we were supposed to do for three quarters and then do it for one quarter. And we put ourselves in a position to, to win the game. So, like, that is just what the – what we have in our in our locker room, what that looks like for the future, the ability. We've just got to clean up some things and learn from some things and not let those same things happen. B, you know, we're we're the youngest experienced team in the league, like by far. Like we've got to not have those lapses, you know, that are that are letting people get back within six. And um, that just can't happen. You damn right it can't happen. And I hope you listen to this interview and realize what you're saying. Now Let's be honest. Let's be fair. You have a coach and then you have a team of players. Now, the coach got to give them some leadership and some guidance. But right now, it's kind of feel like the, the players are, are the ones responsible for anything that's been successful. But Chris decides got to realize that whenever something goes wrong, even if you win or whatever, like this 30-some point lead, and y'all let them come back and get it down to six. They're going to blame you. They're not going to blame the players. So, yes, Chris's sides probably is taking a lot of heat, all of the heat. And I understand that people saying, well, the players are the ones on the court. But Chris's sides is the one making the decision. She is the one making the calls. Like people are saying, if you see that the Phoenix Mercury changed their defense, then it's up to you to adjust. And people are upset with Chris side because she is not making the adjustments. If the team is going on a 17-0 or 36 run and scoring that many points in 11 minutes, then call a timeout. Cool the team off. Regroup. Do something. People are looking at like Chris side just sit back and just let stuff happen. And like she is confused about what's going on. But let's keep in mind, people. This is a lot of spotlight, and this is a lot of pressure to be coaching Caitlin Clark. And just that alone puts a lot of pressure on Christy Sides. Caitlin Clark getting all these accolades. She's scoring. She's doing all this amazing stuff. And the coach going to have to live up to the hype. It just comes with the job. You have a lot of attention on the Indiana Fever, and it's not going anywhere no time soon. But y'all get in the comments and tell me what y'all think. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like and share this video. 
and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop another video. Holla.